In this video, we're going to do some practice problems with molarity and molality. First one, 3.5 liters of the solution contains 90 grams of sodium chloride. What is the molarity? Well, the formula for molarity is the number of moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. So let's take a look at what we have here. 90 grams of sodium chloride. First thing I need to do is convert that into moles. 58.5 grams per mole is the gram molecular mass for sodium chloride. That is going to work out to be 1.53 moles of sodium chloride. Now I need to take that and divide that by liters of solution, which is going to be 3.5. I get that, and it's going to work out to be 0.44 molar sodium chloride. 1.53 moles of sodium chloride divided by 3.5 liters. Next one, 800 milliliters of a 0.45 molar hydrochloric acid solution. How many grams of hydrogen chloride are there in this solution? Well, as before, we need to get my formula. Molarity is moles of substance divided by liters of solution. Well, 800 milliliters becomes 0.8 liters. I need to convert everything into liters. So we'll take 0.45 molar, replacing this. X is going to be my moles of substance. That's going to be my unknown. And my liters of solution is going to be 0.8. Solving for X, that's going to give me 0.36 moles of hydrochloric acid is present in that. So I need to take this 0.36 moles of hydrochloric acid and convert that into grams. Using the gram molecular mass of 36.5, canceling that out, I'm going to get 13.14 grams of hydrogen chloride in my solution. Next up, to produce 40 grams of silver chromate, you need at least 23.4 grams of potassium chromate. All you have on hand is 5 liters of a 6 molar potassium chromate solution. What volume of the solution is needed to give you the 23.4 grams? I like this question because there's a lot of unnecessary information in it. To start with, this whole part right here to produce 40 grams of silver chromate, not necessary. I don't really need that information. All it's asking is what I'm going to need, which is going to be 23.4 grams. What volume will get me that volume there? All this, unnecessary. That 5 liters, also unnecessary. As long as I am less than 5 liters for my answer, that's totally unimportant. All they're really asking is how much of this 6 molar potassium chromate solution is needed. So there's a whole lot of unnecessary information in here that we need to cut out. So let's start with 23.4 grams of potassium chromate. Convert that into moles. That gives me 0 0.120 moles of potassium chromate. Now from here, I need to figure out my molarity, and use that with my solution there. So I have six molar potassium chromate. I want to know how many liters of this will give me my 0 0.120 moles of that. I'm going to set this up here, doing a little bit of algebra. If I multiply it here, that goes on this side, divided by here, that goes on the other side. Basically, the six molar and the x liters of solution will switch. So that's going to work out to be 0 0.120 divided by 6.02 liters, or 20 mils. So this 5 liters is completely unnecessary. I'm not even using remotely close to that. All right, what's the molarity of a solution made from 5.85 grams of potassium iodide dissolved into enough water to make 125 mils of solution? Well, so molarity is moles of substance divided by liters of solution. So the fact that this is in liters, and I have to change this from milliliters to liters to make it work. So 5.85 grams of potassium iodide, converting that into moles is going to give me 0 0.035 moles of potassium iodide. That's good. Now I'm going to take that and divide it by liters of solution. So 125 mils becomes 0.125 liters. Take that here, solve it out. That's going to give me a 0.28 molar solution of potassium iodide. All right. Now I'm going to take a look at molality. So molality is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be looking at the number of moles of solute divided by liters of solution. It's moles of solute divided by kilograms of solution. So let's take a look at this one and how it relates to that. So my symbol is going to be the cursive M. So 50 grams of sucrose is going to be converted into moles. Here's my conversion factor there. That works out to be 0.146 moles of sucrose. So that's my number of moles of solute. Now I need to divide that by my kilogram of solvent. I have 50 grams of sucrose, but it's going to be going into 125 grams of water. That's going to work out to be 0.125 kilograms. Take that, divide it out, do the math. That's going to work out to be a 1.17 molal solution of sucrose. So remember, moles of solute divided by kilogram of solution. 
Next one, doing another one, figuring out the molality, 255 grams of acetone and 200 grams of water. So I'm going to take my 255 grams of acetone. I'm going to convert that into moles with my conversion factor here. That works out to be 4.4 moles of acetone. Let's take that and divide it by kilograms of solvent. I have 200 grams, but that works out to be 0.2 kilograms of water. Take that divided by 0.2. That's going to work out to be a 22 molar solution of acetone. Remember, divided by kilograms of solvent. A mechanic uses an antifreeze, which is ethylene glycol, and water solution in a TARS radiator. He puts 6.5 kilograms of ethylene glycol in 1.5 kilograms of water. What's the molality of this mixture here? So molality, number of moles of solute, divided by kilograms of solvent. 6.5 kilograms is going to work out to be 6,500 grams of my particular substance here. Dividing that by the gram molecular mass is going to give me 104.84 moles of ethylene glycol. That's a lot. Now I'm going to take that and divide it by kilogram of solvent, 1.5 kilograms. That is going to work out to be a final molal solution of 69.9 molal solution of ethylene glycol. 1.75 molal solution is made from ethanol and water. How many grams of ethanol are contained in 250 grams of water? So this one's a little bit different here. So 250 grams of water is going to be 0 0.250 kilograms and it's a 1.75 molal solution. So taking that, x moles of solute over my kilogram of solvent is 0 0.250. That's going to work out to be 0.44 moles of ethanol. Now I'm going to need to take that, and I'm going to convert that into grams. So using my gram molecular mass of one mole is 46.0. That works out to be 20.24 grams of ethanol found in this solution.